Hello? Hi. I can't see your face, babe. Can you see me? Oh, hey, baby. I need to get more light. Hi, hold on. Let me turn the light on. Okay, how about now? Hey, what's your name, boo? Monroe. Monroe from where? From D.C. D.C. in the building. How old are you? I'm 33. 33. You have any kids? Yeah. No kids. No kids. What do you do for a living? So I work at a shelter. I'm in social service work. Okay, social service work. When's your birthday? July 13th. July 13th. Is that a cancer? Yeah, I'm a cancer. A cancer. This is Monroe, DC, 33, social worker, a cancer. Let's get to it. So who are you open to date tonight? Um, I'm open to dating any, um, I'm, I'm open to trying new things. I'm open to dating. Okay, so break it down. What are you looking for? I'm, I'm looking for someone who has a, a, a very intimate, spiritual connect like connection um uh, a communicator um someone who is honest and um ambitious okay could they have children yes they can have children um of course you know they have to have a clear understanding of what they want versus you know with the children's parents okay do you want kids yourself I do, I do, I do. I want, I, I want children. Okay. So, when was your last relationship? Um, my last relationship was eighteen months ago. You don't gotta tell us, but I'm gonna ask. Why did it end? Um, he had a lot of uh, growing that he needed to do individually, and I felt that it would be selfish of me to keep him in a relationship. Okay. Okay. So now you're looking for something. Um, I always ask this question. You don't have to answer it, but I do ask it. When was, sure. the, last time, when was the last time you had sex? The last time I was intimate was July. Okay, July. All right. Okay, so Monroe, do they, does the guy have to be in D.C.? No, he doesn't have to be in D.C., but I am a trans woman. Um, so I, as long as they are uh, open to, uh, uh, to that aspect and... Um, I don't care where they live. Say one more time. I don't, I don't I don't care where they live just as long as they are open to the idea of me being a woman of the trans experience. Got you. Okay, so he is a trans man. Um, she is a trans. Um, is it proper to say she is a trans or he is a trans? Yes. Yeah, she. She. Okay, she is a trans. Thank you for that. Um, no, they you're fine. Before we go further, they said, do you do your own makeup? Because it looks flawless. I Yes, thank you. Yes. God damn it! I need to learn how to do makeup. I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna learn. Thank I'm gonna learn you. how to do. My, you the second guy, uh, she that came up here flawless with makeup. I'll do with me, but it's all good. I'm gonna get it together. Oh, stop! You look beautiful. Oh, uh, I appreciate that. But Monroe, back to you. So, can, does a guy have to be um, openly gay? Like, what type of men are you into? So, um, I am a post-op trans woman, so that means I don't have a penis. Um, However, I am looking for a heterosexual male, someone who is only attracted to women. So not gay. Not gay. Okay. All right. So not so. Okay, you want a straight man that's into women. Yeah, because okay. I'm I'm a I'm a woman. I'm a heterosexual. I'm a heterosexual woman of the trans experience, and the way that I put that is that I'm a woman of the trans experience. So I'm a woman by way of transitioning. Okay. Got you. Yeah. And you no longer, and you said, you, I volunteered to tell us that you no longer have um, a penis. No, I don't. So, look, I don't know much. And if I'm invasive, you don't have to answer. So, do you no, have to... No, I'm an open book. This is okay. educational. I'm sure I'm educating a lot of people okay. right now. This is fine. So, okay, so let's go. So, do you have a vagina now, then? I do. I have a vagina. I have oh. an operable, I have an operable vagina. Um, it works the same exact way that a woman's does, that a biological cisgendered woman's vagina works. Okay, okay. All right, I so just don't I just don't have a menstrual cycle and I can't bear my own children. Shit, I wish I didn't have a menstrual cycle. 
<laughs> like, but you can't bear children. Okay. And then you said you want a straight guy. What about a bisexual man? I will date a bisexual man. That's why honesty is like the, uh, a huge thing for me because communication is everything. Okay. Yes. And when do you tell a person when you meet them that you're trans? Um, if it is someone that I am pursuing um, to have a, a deeper relationship with other than just acquaintance or associate or friendship, like if this is someone that I can see myself being intimate with, then I will disclose that information. Well said. Okay. This is Monroe in D.C. Do you want the person to be in D.C.? Uh, no, they don't have to be. Okay. You're willing to travel. Um, can they have kids? Yes, yes, that's fine. That that's fine. They can have kids. Social worker. She's a she's a cancer. Um, age range. Um, my uh, well, I will say this: age has no limit. Um, you know, uh, my last boyfriend, he was uh, sixty plus. Um, but I'm willing to date someone if their maturity level, um, and everything else is as far as mentally is good. I mean, twenty five and up. 25 and up, 25 and up. But the last person was 60 years old? Yes. That was a sugar daddy. No, I, I love him. I loved him. He was, an, he was an exceptional guy. He proved to me that it doesn't matter how old you are, maturity level is definitely a, a, a necessity. Okay, maturity level is a necessity. All right, Moreau, I like you. Beat face and everything, girl. Thank you. Thank you. We should be friends. I'm looking for love. Help me. Yes, I know. We're about, we about to put it out there. We're putting the energy out there right now. This is Monroe in D.C., 33, no kids, social worker. July 13th is a cancer. Trans yeah. woman, no longer has the male body part, has the female body part. Looking for a guy that's into women because she is a woman. Bisexual yeah. men also can apply. You can have children. Um, you don't yeah. have D.C., and yeah. what was your deal breakers? I forget your deal breakers. Uh, atheist is definitely a deal breaker for me. Um, you have to believe in something. We are what we believe. If you don't believe in anything greater than you, then um, that's the problem for me. Um, uh, and that's really it. I think everything else is definitely something that we can work through or, you know, see how it goes. I love it. I love it. Listen, Monroe, you blessed us tonight with your presence. We appreciate it. We're going well, to need to give you blessings, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Yes, yes. Um, you look great. So listen, fellas, you. if you're ready to get to know Monroe on a stronger level, you know what to do. You go to our page. You go to the DMs. You go to the comments. Make sure you about that life because she about that life. Thank you. you know what she wants. She ain't playing no games. So that's what it is. Hit her up and let's see what it do. Monroe, you keep me posted, baby. Absolutely. Will do. Thank you. Wait, tell them your Instagram name. Uh, Monroe Elise P. M-O-N-R-O-E-A-L-I-S-E-P, my name. Okay, one more time. That's Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E, like Marilyn. Monroe Elise, A-L-I-S-E-P. I love it. All right, Monroe, you keep me posted. You got to check in next week and tell me how it went. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. You too. And they're saying your page is fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love it. All right. Bye, baby. See you. Bye.